Hi, I'm Alice Mercer. I'm a defender on Team USA, and today I'm going to talk about knockdowns and interceptions and starting the fast break from there. So the first thing to keep in mind is that when you want to get an interception or a knockdown, you need to be able to see the ball and your girl at the same time. If you're ball watching, then you're most likely going to get backdoored, and no one wants that. You just, you always need to be in your defensive position, I think, like always being low and being able to shuffle because you don't know if you're going to be shuffling out of it to slide or if you're going to be sprinting out of it to try and get the interception. So I think just like staying low like you would normally play defense. When you're baiting your attackers, when you're looking to get the knockdown or the interception, you need to be close enough to your attacker that you are on them and you don't get beat if they do get the ball, but you need to be far enough away from them that it looks like she's open so that her teammate passes her the ball so that you can get the interception. But you need to be able to know how fast you can get to the interception but still be on your girl if she gets it. When you do go for an interception or a knockdown, you need to make sure you're going 100% and you can't be indecisive because that's when you get caught. Even if it's not the right decision to go, it's better to go 100%. It's all about having each other's backs. So if you do go for an interception and you miss or you get out of place, then someone's there to have your back. We're gonna talk about uh, dodging from X and kind of what I think about when I'm going you know, to dodge a defender. First thing I think about when I'm going is where his front foot is. Uh, People who you know, don't necessarily look like the stereotypical athlete can, you know, be amazing.